Well, the high COVID case counts across the Southland have prompted parents to get their kids tested and schools to switch game plans to prevent more spread. KKL 9's Cara Fenstrom talked with concerned parents in the Malibu Unified School District. I'm a senior and, and just grateful that he's in class and we're being safe and protecting one another. Parent Kristen Kahn wound through this line for student COVID screening early this morning. Her son and about 700 other Malibu middle and high school students are returning to campus from winter break a day late because of a high COVID case count. Principal Patrick Miller tells us 67 students tested positive. So did three of the roughly 100 staff members. Our students have participated in a weekly screening testing program. Prior to winter break, we experienced an outbreak at Malibu Middle School and Malibu High School and had planned for screening testing to occur prior to return. As the results of those campus COVID tests started coming back, school leaders decided to turn to remote learning Tuesday to ensure they had enough time to alert anyone testing positive. This father of three is glad the district is cautious, but says the pandemic's disruptions are frustrating. So it keeps going on and on for the, almost two years now. I don't know when it's going to end. I guess we'll just take it as it comes, right? About 55 miles away in the La Cunata School District, the superintendent posted a message yesterday saying 10% of their student body just tested positive for COVID and they would revert to remote learning today. That was news that was uh, sort of shocking to a lot of us. La Cunata schools plan to resume in-person learning tomorrow, but are requiring all students and staff to submit a negative COVID-19 test before returning. The district also says they just exhausted test supplies, but should get a shipment of 5,000 more tests today and will also accept the results of home antigen tests. And at that emergency meeting, board members said that in addition to safety worries, they're also concerned about potential staffing shortages that can close schools. Here in Malibu, parents told us that they're just hoping all these precautions can help keep schools open. Cara Finstrom, KCAL 9 News.